I'm Giancarlo Caltabiano from Board to Death TV, and this is our preview of Zeppel Drone. In Zeppel Drone, players are racing their airships to reach the finish line first. In the box, you'll get 10 two sided playing board sections the start section, the finish line, and the hazard board in between, four dirigibles, four flight plan covers, and four movement cube for each player, 70 flight plan cards, eight ballast tokens a chunk chunk token, four old folks token, and 20 vector tokens. The first player to reach the finish line wins the race. So here's how to set up. Form the random playing board by using the start tile and the finish tile, then fill in the gap starting with a tile A, then a tile B, and so on until you reach the letter D. This will form a random playing board at the start of each game. Some tiles might need to have tokens added to them during the setup. You can also use fewer sections to make the game shorter. Now each player receives the ship, cube and cover of their color. The ships are placed at the starting line. Now shuffle the deck of cards and deal each player four cards. Each card has two sections, a flight plan on top and an action at the bottom. Each card is played as an action or a flight plan, but never as both. You're now ready to race. To determine the turn order, the player in the lead will go first each round. If there is a tie, then the player highest on the playing board goes first. Here are the steps taken in a turn. First, each player chooses a flight plan card and places it face down on the table. Once everyone has placed a card, they are revealed. You can leave your card face down as an option, and this will make you move one space in any direction. Each player covers the action part of the card to make sure everyone knows this is your flight plan card and not an action card. Now in turn sequence, there is an action phase. In sequence order, players can play an action card or pass. If all players pass in one turn, this phase ends. Each player will put their cube on the dirigible icon of their card or the vector chits to the left of their movement card. Now each player will move one space at a time on the flight plan and on the board. Once all players run out of space to move, each player removes all cards played and can also discard cards from their hand. If someone played an action that deactivates your flight plan, then flip your card over. You can now only move one spot in any direction. Some flight plans have white arrows which are optional routes you can take. If you take that route, you must discard a card from your hand as payment. If you hit something during movement, you simply bounce, which means you don't move and stay there until a movement allows you to go around the object. Let's look at some of the things you might run into during the race. If you land on a ballast token, you can pick it up which moves your dirigible one place down. Before you make a move or after you make a move, you may discard the token and move your dirigible up one space. If you're at an inspiration point, you draw an extra card at the end of the round. If you have the slalom tile in play, players can only cross using their color hoop. If you are racing through headwinds, you can't move directly forward during movement. The Chunk Chunk Machine will block space on the board and is also moved by the last player on each turn. Obscuring Fog simply means you can't move diagonally. The Ravenous Fans have two effects. If you land on your color, you may move one additional place for free. And if you land on an opponent's color, then you must move your cube on your flight path one spot, causing you to lose a movement point. The old folks block movement and are moved by the player in the last place during the move hazards phase. You can move each folk to an adjacent space. Lemmings are falling to their doom and each column has a limit of how many lemmings can be falling there. The last player must move at least one of these guys down one spot. He can move as many as he wants but at least one. They block movement and cause ships to bounce. Now the action cards will allow you to add movements to the front or back of a flight plan. An exclamation mark means that the action takes place as the card is played, so you can immediately move a player's dirigible, including your own. Some actions affect players' hands, and others affect flight plans. If you're looking for a racing game where you get to screw with your neighbor's dirigible and have a different racing field every game, then you should check out Zeppeldrome. The cards and playing area offers lots of strategy, and the players in the last place is having lots of fun controlling the hazards. It also ensures that there's no steamrolling element. We are not scoring this game since it's a prototype, but we can say that it's looking good so far. Lots of player interaction and fun artwork. Go check out Zappeldrome.